In Matthew 13, 31, Jesus tells the parable of the master seed. I usually understand Jesus' parables as unconventional wisdom uh, that uh, subverts uh, the traditional uh, and cultural understandings. Um, and that is, that is how I look at the parable of the master seed. Jesus is telling uh, about something that is very small, and uh, Matthew describes it as the smallest among the seeds. So Jesus wants his audience to imagine this very small seed and how it turns into the largest among the trees. And this is very important because reading the passage from the Palestinian context, where usually people pay attention to the strongest, to the biggest, uh, to the wealthiest, Jesus is pointing us back to the smallest, to the core. It is not that what we can achieve, but to the core of our relationship with God, the smallest of our faith, the smallest of our endeavors, the smallest of our ministry, and how God takes that um, uh, work, that mission, that ministry, and makes it great. The uh, story of the Anglican Episcopal Church in Israel-Palestine, where the whole mission started as a small seed in the 19th century, and this small seed of mission and love and care for the others, it uh, became, with God's care, um, a, a big tree. It becomes a great ministry where many other peoples can have a shelter, a healing, a food, a education. So when I read the parable and come to the word nest or make a nest, it reminds me that the kingdom of heaven is a place where people can feel sheltered, a place of protection. This reflects and resonates with the minister of the church. Uh, we're a church that provides a, a, a spiritual message, but also provides a, a place, a, a home, a, a nest, a shelter, uh, for everyone who comes into the uh, building. So this is the story of the master seed, as I read it from the Palestinian context, from the context of the mission of uh, our parish in Ramallah and the context of the Diocese of Jerusalem. So I do not actually separate education from being a ministry of hope, a ministry of a protection, a ministry of provision. When the first missionaries came to the Middle East, they recognized the need of education. Uh, and that is why uh, not only the Episcopal Church, but all uh, churches in the Middle East included education and teaching as an integral part of their mission and ministry. And uh, part of it is to transform the situation, conditions, more and more towards constructing a community of learners, uh, a community that would uh, follow uh, the development that is happening in the world. This is where education and hope meet for the Palestinian people. We do believe that education is hope. When our students uh, are educated, provided with good environment where they can reflect upon their identity, uh, their mission, and their future, this is how God envisions our world or God's world to be a place of welcoming, a place of shelter, a place of education, a place of love and care for everyone. This is how the uh, birds of the heaven came to make a nest in the tree of the master seed.